Okay, so a couple things I wanted to do first thing on this Thursday morning is kind of review a little bit back, just take a couple steps back um, to what we did yesterday um, with Google Cloud. And so um, kind of the, the URL that you're looking at is council.cloud.google.com. And... You know, I bookmarked this page yesterday, so if you need to navigate to that URL, go ahead and navigate back to that URL, um, council.cloud.google.com. Should bring you back here. Grant, can you confirm you can get back to this page? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm there. Um, and so, um, you know, like I said yesterday, last year when I taught this, um, we deployed to a service called Heroku. Heroku then started charging and um, requiring a credit card and auto billing. This service did require a credit card, but it doesn't auto bill. Um, so I'm actually looking for a solution through possibly through GitHub um, student developer pack. And so we're going to navigate that today and see if there's any resources on the student developer pack for google cloud where you can like maybe get some of these credits without without a credit card that's kind of the ideal scenario now we're in this gray zone right now where you know my one student following along he did put in a, a credit card um, but it doesn't auto charge and so that's where it's like okay if if you're a ranking student i only got five of you in my class Maybe not all of you have credit cards, and so you might not be able to do this. Therefore, I cannot grade based on deployment. However, you know, it's common sense that we need to find a deployment solution, and we're kind of exploring those options right now. Um, so if you can follow along, put in a credit card. It does not auto charge. You know, it is optional for you to do that. Not required. Um, that is my recommendation to take that optional you know, enter the credit card, um, but obviously there's not going to be any sort of like deduction on your points if you cannot do that, no problem. Um, now that we're kind of back here, um, I want to, you know, it's not immediately apparent. We deployed our application yesterday and we're going to continue as we make changes, we're going to update our app. And so we're going to continue to deploy, at least the plan is right now, to Google Cloud. Um, so uh, as of right now, you know, I know myself and, and Grant, we both have a, a deployment. Um, and so you kind of have a project here. And so, you know, just to get back to that project, I want to show you the URL, you know, so you click on the project and, and you can change these project settings. And so, but, you know, I might change this, my first project to be, um, uh, issue tracker, you know, um, AWD 1111, whatever it is, just our uh, Gudmestead issue tracker, something like that. Um, and um, change those settings. Point is, um, kind of going back to Google Cloud, I can this should rename to Gudmestead Issue Tracker. You can see it is Gudmestead Issue Tracker here. Um, we want to click on App Engine. And this is basically how you get back to your URL. Because I, I spent five minutes kind of clicking around this dashboard looking for my app. Because we deployed it yesterday. When you click on App Engine, um, then you can see the URL up top. Uh, for you to navigate to and get to the live version of, of your deployed site. And again, as we make changes in our labs, because again, we're building on this all lab uh, all semester long, we will continually redeploy our updated bug tracker um, to Google Cloud. And so, you know, I just wanted to do it a little bit differently this semester. I wanted to um, deploy at the beginning. And so we've done that. And I, you know, redeploy as the semester goes along every time that that's necessary. So just wanted to kind of show you, um, you know, how to get back to the app engine and how to launch your app from the URL. Now, it's also worth noting, you know, 
we can definitely wire this up to a custom domain um, and that that's totally feasible and doable uh, with you know some some DNS settings and you know maybe a redirect or something like that but that's this URL is not the important part necessarily um, because that can always be changed um, so then grant um, question for you this morning is did you get that email from github for the uh, developer pack i have not gotten anything yet ah. i just checked this morning oh okay okay um so then what that leaves us working on um is uh where we left off yesterday with the with the MongoDB lab. And so there's a lab 02, uh, 0201, I think is the lab number, where you're using the MFLIX database. And uh, Grant, I think you probably are about halfway through it. And so once we'll finish that up today, we'll kind of go through the answers together and um, be ready to move on. Any questions before you jump into that? Nope, I'll just keep working on mine. Cool. All right.